Okay, everybody, welcome back. Skateboard Stories, episode 41. Tape number March 3rd, 1996. And we're continuing from the last session. Oh, Stacy almost rolled away. Uh, Jesse with a sick kickflip. So it's Stacy, Lowry, Jesse Sylvie, and Tony Two. Skating downtown LA. How's it? This old fountain spot. Might still be there. They might have knobbed this thing. I can't remember. AP in the background. Oh. Stacy with the El Rolo. Oh, shit. That was sick. I filmed it kind of shitty, but that's not easy, man. That lip's weird. It's hard to blunt on that. T2 on the scene, helping Stacy. I almost got kicked out, it looks like. In this spot, downtown LA, it's kind of a slightly a famous known spot, these marble ledges. You could skate them like over the gap on the Palm Street side. I feel like back in the day, it was like the world dudes had footage there. I feel like Gabriel Rodriguez, rest in peace, might have had some stuff. I think this is where they filmed Heat, too. Remember that movie, Heat? There's like a big shootout scene right around here. Watching this footage just makes me want to go skate LA, dude. Downtown LA is so fun. There's so much shit to skate down there. It's a blast. Courthouse. I heard they're turning the courthouse out, too. It's pretty crazy. It's been going on forever. Jesse okay. taking like a real bodied slam. <laughs> that didn't happen very often. If you notice, his shoes flew off too. <laughs> this thing's pretty gnarly. It's definitely like kind of tall to get onto. Right. I think he said no. <laughs> Jesse's back for round two. he got it that was pretty much unedited too so I think he did it like in two tries or whatever pretty sick and then this is Kai Regan and Nelson Shin just skating around berries one of my favorite skate spots how's Nelson just such a sick style smooth style But yeah, Barry's is the dopest, man. Somebody needs to take all the knobs off that place. It just sits there, no one uses it. I don't know why we can't skate it. What's that UCSB Skate Club? Hey, UCSB Skate Club, if you're listening, why don't you start a campaign to liberate Barry Blocks and make it into a 
skatable area through the college. I don't know if they would ever do that, but sure would be sick. This is the top of San Marcos Pass in Santa Barbara. East Camino Cielo, I'm pretty sure. And it's funny because it just snowed up there like this last week. And that only happens every once in a while, especially where the snow actually stays. That's Osa, that's my old dog. And Krishna. It's amazing. Yeah, this tape is labeled March 3rd, so that means it was logged on March 3rd. So this is probably like the end of February. That's looking over towards Mount Figueroa. And heading back down San Marcos Pass, back to Santa Barbara. That's shot from the bridge to nowhere, which is like a skate spot nowadays, kind of. George and a guy actually had a photo in Big Brother skating the bridge to nowhere. It's like a bridge that goes over the pass right there. And this is me trying to get a line at, at a DMV, which I never get. Save you guys all the bails. I was getting Kai Regan back <laughs> those, those last episodes. I'm gonna switch front blunt. Those last episodes where I, I was trying to film him do a line and he was taking forever while well, he's filming me here and I was taking forever. Like that's motivation. Fuck you. But yeah, trying to do an ollie flip, nose to fakie, and then a switch front blunt, but never got it. The dog's all scared of the camera. <laughs> the thing is, is I was going faster. It always happened when I tried to film a line. So I'm trying to switch it up now and do something different. But whenever I try to film lines, I always end up skating way faster than I normally did, especially for a nollie flip nose. So I was having a hard time doing it, I should have just slowed it down. I probably would have done it easier. Okay, this is pretty sick, right here. Stacy grinding the other way. Most people went 
the opposite direction, up the big part of the bank right there, which was a kicker, so it boosted you. But where Stacy's alling from is pretty flat. It's pretty dope. Not many skated it that way, if any. And back to the junior high with Jesse Sylvie, Kai Regan. Some of this stuff made it into the Santa Barbara video. And we got Stacy Lowry just kind of hanging out. No, actually, I'm trying to front side half half flip. started up remember how they how when they first started they were one thing and then red man see I'm red and then the first thing changed to something else what was the first thing called do you remember <laughs> <laughs> Stacy man okay. funny guy Kai doesn't get this, but man, he's coming super close right here. That would have been pretty sick. You better pull this one, Kai. <laughs> pull this one. <laughs> Happened here, I can't remember. He must have been changing or something. Those guys, like, <laughs> see, they like hit his clothes and somehow he got outside. I don't know. But see, Jesse ain't no dummy. He goes and grabs some, some new pants off the rack. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> so this is the rail that Frankie Hill had the Thrasher cover on. And we got Stacy and T2 both attempting to 50-50 it. And, you know, I've heard people try and say that this rail was low. 
And I think I know what they're saying. I mean, for like a wheelchair ramp style handrail, I guess it's a little bit lower than normal. But in the big scheme of things, it's not low, dude. It was not low. Like a normal handrail down like, you know, a 10 stair rail or something is going to be way lower to get on. Especially like you see how they skate it nowadays. It's like most dudes ollie out to like where it's the same level as the ground almost. So you're not really ollieing up to it. This on the other hand is you got to get you yourself on? up on there. And you also got to keep in mind, see this is about hip high on Kai. Stacy's legs are a little bit longer and he's like six foot, six one, so like you can see T2 rolling up to it. It's like eye level as he's crouched. So anyway, yeah, it is not low. And also people get this rail confused with Washington. So two completely different handrails. And Washington's much lower Whoa. than this one. But it's different. It's like kind of it curves with the bank, so it kind of like curves down, and the bar's smaller. Yeah. A few episodes back, Stacy grinded the Washington rail. And like I said, this is the cover of Thrasher. The way it's cropped, you would never know it. But um, yeah, Frankie's cover of Thrasher. Also, the runway kind of curves down as you're going to it. It's not flat. And there's a crack right where they're all in from, too. So, I mean, that's not that big of a deal. It's kind of more of a marker, but. You might also remember this rail, Smolik in Fulfill the Dream. On the other one right there, he did the Superman board slide to Fakie. And then the only other thing that I know of that was ever done on this was Damian Bravo did a front board Fakie, which is freaking retarded. And that's gnarly. See, Stacy, he really tried to get on top of that one. He ended up going over. And now T2 is starting to try and get on top of it too. They're both kind of starting to get it down. <laughs> he's lucky he's got long legs. I don't know what he was talking about. It must have been a crack or something up there. And this rail's no longer there, by the way. could have used a broom. It sounded like it was really sandy at the bottom.
Stacy just missing that other bar with his freaking head. That was sick. There's the initial warm up grind. Shit's starting to get heated now. Yeah, so you can see he misses his hand when he tries to save himself. Knocked the wind out of himself. And I'm pretty sure he cracked like a rib or two, if I remember correctly. How was that slam? Uh, <laughs> you all right? It's like I got hit by a baseball bat. <laughs> It's funny the conversation in the background is about like Big Daddy Kane, Madonna, and Sean Penn. <laughs> the 90s, baby. How many times has he done it now? Like six? That's it. Oh! That was supposed to be me though. Okay. That was supposed to be me, but you know, I didn't want to do it anymore because I racked my ray up my fucking ribs. That was supposed to be me. I don't want to press my luck though. Smart move. Doesn't want to press his luck. I like it. Did it solid. Jesse. Back at the junior high.
Sam Marcus. A little jump ramper. Landing with no speed, no one was really feeling that, I don't think. It's still crazy though. All these tricks are pretty gnarly. Mr. Consistent, Carl Nunes. Spitfire sucks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> rad like the first one he did lip and backside 50 then he did lip frontside 50 but it's all about the setup it's just how he ended up landing the lip slide determined where he was and then it didn't really matter he grinded it either way <laughs> that's pretty sick <laughs> understatement and then I don't even know there's just like random footage of Vegas so maybe I brought the camera with the intention of filming something I don't know 
weird. But it looks like this is Circus Circus, and they were just building like the new section or something. Back in SB, and this thing was gnarly. It's like a trash place where you store the trash cans, I guess, but a little bump there. That wall's huge. Nobody really fucked with this. I, I want to say maybe. I feel like Danny Wainwright might have hollied this too or something. It's really hard to film too. It kind of doesn't do it justice. You can't, you know, if you film it from the other side, it just looks like a wall. You can't see what's going on. Filming from this side, you can't really see the landing. So it's like, look, nothing's changed in Santa Barbara. In 96, still Ferraris rolling around. Did it. Tried to boost the exposure a little bit here. Still can't really see him shooting right into the sun, so but that was sick. That's a big Ollie. And then I kind of tried to change the angle here. And you're gonna see coming up. That see somebody parked there now. So, I mean, he landed on it right there, but the car's right there, so he's trying to go around it, but this wasn't working. Still looked crazy, but the sun is just fucking it up. It's just, you're just shooting right into the damn sun with a old ass Hi8 camera. George down to Ledbetter. Some of these clips made it into the church video, Santa Barbara. That this is all I think this is all Manabu's footage here. <coughs> and we're filming this off the wall in my bedroom. So it's not the greatest quality. Could have been way better if we would have had it professionally transferred. But you know, that shit costs money. <laughs> Santa Rosa, I don't know if we ever use this for anything. I was looking at this footage going, I don't know if this ever made it out into the world. Maybe Pal used it, I can't remember. But Mitchell Terena, 5-0 grind, that was Dude, sick for 96. He's like right about to hit on his nuts. Yeah, that's a crazy photo. Yeah, hey, I gotta go back there and grind that handrail. But yeah, that rail was sick. It's it's knob these days, has kind of some big knobs on it. But uh, it was a sick rail. Dylan Gardner doing the 401 intro music. Cool. I always love that clip. The doubles. <coughs> so dope. That, that is bad to me. This is all kind of like second angle stuff from the last several episodes of Skateboard Stories. We kind of already watched all this footage, but Super 8 shit's always cool. Is that kind of slow motion? Total slow motion. It's cool though, I like it. Looks <laughs> rad. <coughs>
Yeah, there's a setting on those old Super 8 cameras. You could film two different speeds. And so he must have had it switched to the slower speed. Whose cars are those? Mine. <laughs> is that all? Is, is this the end? Just the, this is it. Just the, it. Just the tip. Uh, Ready? Mm-hmm. That's a lot of footage of that rail, Dylan. Oh, shit. That, that's with your fisheye? Yeah. Is that, no, no, stop, 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 stop. is that with the filter? So this is... Oh, you fucking piece of crap. <laughs> Manabu running the projector. This is... Probably the first fisheye on Super 8 that Manabu ever filmed, I'm assuming. And then it has that colorization, kind of like a reddish purple hue, because he's oh, got shit. a filter on the camera. That looks rad. He got that. That's crazy that he got. Out of two attempts of filming, he got both lands. That's wild. That looks kind of rad, though, silhouette. What did he describe that bit? What? What was that? It's almost like 50 50. Oh, wait. There's a jump ramp there, right? Yeah. Who's <laughs> jump ramp? Yeah, Ours he's now. <laughs> No, it was J and S's, but it's in the back of Manabu's car. Wow. Must have been a small oh, jump ramp doubles. to fit it in the back oh. of Manabu's car. <laughs> I have to lose out filter. Nice filming. Yeah, so. You know, using a fisheye can be tricky. And especially a Super 8 camera, the trigger's underneath the lens. Whereas, like, if you're filming VX, you've got a handle on top, so you can hold it from the top. But this camera, you're holding from the bottom, so it's hard to guess your angle of filming. So he's just shooting a little too high. But like I said, this was probably the first time he ever used the fisheye. So then you make adjustments afterwards. Ooh. Start aiming at people's feet. Dude, what's wrong with me, man? I'm coming too high. Ugh, lip slide. Lip slide up it. That's Jason Womack. He must have been visiting from Texas. Jason Womack? Remember from Texas? Hey, hey, hey. They're here. He's here? He's still here? Well, that's the end of that tape. And uh, thanks a lot once again for tuning in we'll have another episode coming shortly um yeah peace